Lol YouTube. Anyway, today I'm showing you my setup for portable uh, ham radio operations. This is an HF radio. It's a ASU 8 FT891, and I'm running it off of a 20-volt DeWalt 5-amp-hour uh, battery. And what I did was I, I bought a, an adapter from off of eBay from a company. And uh, that clicks onto the uh, battery and then uh, positive, negative. Uh, and I also bought a, a voltage regulator that would do 13.8 volts. And uh, here's the name of the uh, and model number. You can just look them up online. Uh, you can just put in uh, search 13.8 uh, volt. DC to DC converter and this takes uh, up to 24 volt I think there's quite a, a spread of voltage I'm using 20 here and I'm getting easily I'm getting uh, uh, 13 uh, right now it's actually showing I can actually show here 13.77 uh, volts it shows the different amps here in the watts and uh, you can keep track of the battery. I've had this on for probably about an hour already. And so far the battery's charged up. I ran one battery down to one bar here yesterday. Uh, and I think I was on it for like about three hours. So uh, plenty of time. Uh, you know, I came up with this idea, you know, you, you can buy these uh, batteries online for, uh, you know, between a hundred to two hundred dollars that are uh, lipo batteries, and I thought, well, uh, I've got all these Dewalt batteries, so why not uh, use them? So, anyway, this thing here, it hasn't really even warmed up. It is a, uh, if I'm not mistaken, thirty amp max, and uh, I think the most I've drawn out of here is. I, it's not very much, maybe 15 amp. Let me see what happens if I were to key up. Well, I'm not going to key up because I'm out of frequency that's in use. But I think it was like about um, uh, about 15 amps that it got up to. So about half the capacity of the voltage regulator. And voltage dropped just a little bit, not much, maybe a tenth of a volt while I was transmitting, but uh, pretty decent. I really do like this uh, setup. Like I said, I have plenty of DeWalt batteries, and uh, I take about three with, and I also take with a charger uh, so that I can charge in between times and stuff. So there you go. Uh, a little bit about my system here. I have a... Uh, Actually, I'll see if I can get a shot of it. I'm at my daughter's place. I have a Wolf, Wolf River coil uh, set up, a TIA, take it along set up. Uh, I'm in the backyard, so uh, obviously it isn't really receiving well, but uh, I did transmit from uh, Colorado to uh, Pennsylvania this morning. Uh, it was uh, lightly heard, but uh, it worked. But anyway, thanks for watching uh, more on this. Oh, yeah. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to I do pack up everything is, except for the radio. All the uh, power equipment goes in this uh, ammo can, and uh, I believe I'm going to take, there are holes on this, and I am going to take and mount that on the, uh, and either end or possibly the side on the outside so you could uh, have that and I'm thinking about getting a uh, 
a bulkhead for my power pole connectors. Oh yeah, I took the time to install power pole connectors on all the ends here. Uh, polarity, you can't get these messed up because you can't turn them around as far as once you get them set up. Can't make a mistake there. You can make a mistake installing them, but you can't make a mistake once you get them installed correctly. So, and uh, have an LDG Z100 plus tuner on this, uh, and then also my radio. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.